We're looking at functional dependencies and normalization for relational databases. Previously, we got introduced to functional dependencies. That's in the playlist link below the like button. But now we are going to be looking at the infer additional FDs. FDs are just our functional dependencies. So given a set of functional dependencies, we're going to call this F, we set this equal to a lot inside of here. What can we infer from this? Well, what we're going to want to do is look for inference rules of FDs, functional dependencies. We can see from here that our F is equal to, we first have our social security and we have employee name. Then we have like P number and this is going to a P name and P location. We also have a social security number P number and it goes to our hours. So how can we infer this? Well, we're going to want to use our rules down here. We have six. We have reflexive, augmentation, transitive, we have decomposition, union, and pseudo or pseudo transitivity. So looking at all of these, if our y is a subset and equal to our x, then x is going to be going to y. So y is our dependent here. Well, we also have augmentation. If x is to y, then we can add something on both sides if we want it to. Adding something on both sides, we're going to have xz going to our yz. Transitive. Well, if we have x going to y, so that's the same, and we have our y going to z, that means our x can go from x to z. This is reflexive, augmentation, and transitive. For our ir, and I think this should be 2, we're just adding on both sides, so it's okay. They just have to be the same. Next, we have our decomposition. So if x is going to yz, then we can infer that x is going to y and x can go to z. We also have a union here. So if x goes to y and x goes to z, well, we can join them and say x is going to y and z. We also have pseudo-transitivity. So if x is going to y and wy is going to z, well, we can just replace this y with an x, and then we're going to have wx going to z. These are deduced from our IR1, IR2, and IR3. So we can just remember that, or we can always come back to this video. So let's look back at this. We have our social security number and our e-name. Well, what we can we do? If we wanted to, we can infer a transitive, or not a transitive, an augmentation. And this augmentation says if we add a b date or b data, birth date data, to both sides, that is okay. That's augmentation. Let's look at this next one. We have our p number, and it goes to p name and p location. Well, we can split this if we wanted to. It should be uppercase, but if we have p number going to our p name, what is this going to be? Well, we are splitting two right here, so it's not reflexive. It's not augmentation. It's not transitive. It is going to look like part of a decomposition because we're splitting them. Then we have social security number goes to hours. Now this looks exactly like our decomposition, except it's just switching sides. So this one is also going to be decomposition. And that's just going to be it how we would look at our infer additional FDs, functional dependencies, and we have our rules. And that is how we would go about applying them.